children left alone in a cafeteria. But those children were caught on film. One little girl went directly to the dessert bar and put a scoop of ice cream into her bowl. And then she started sampling the toppings, sticking her finger into each one, and then into her mouth. When she tried the marsh marshmallow flavor, she was so delighted that she emptied the bowl of ice cream and filled her bowl with that sweet white topping. <laughs> Here was a child who knew how to empty the lesser food in order to make room for what she considered the very best. He emptied himself. Jesus emptied himself. This is the phrase that struck me the most in today's second reading. which in Greek means kenosis, is no more than Jesus embracing the loneliness of our human state without ceasing to be fully God. The empty himself means that Jesus was obedient to his Father's will. In his passion narrative, Luke, the today narrative, tells us that Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done. We can read a lot of these those, our seraphic uh, St. Bonaventure, the cardinal, writing on the Gospel of St. Luke. He wrote a great commentary just on the Gospel of Luke in the mid scene. Brothers and sisters, there is a difference between Jesus' empty and ours. Jesus' emptying is not from the lower good to the greater good as our is. Jesus emptied himself from the greater to become the lesser. How can we make transition from the lower to the greater? Sometimes we have to let things go, even good things. When I first came to this country, I had to leave behind my own way of thinking, but I came with a lot of assumptions, a lot of expectations. I thought that I would come to America to get a nice job, to earn a lot of money, to have a big family with many children. <laughs> So he began to dress 
Christ.